All right, guys, both these people are ITF Taekwondoings, and they're going to fight in the ring. This is some epic costume wardrobe they have, man. All right, here we go. Wow, leading with a roundhouse kick. So if they're ITF people, oh, I love the spin moves. If they're ITF people, they can punch to the face, right? Now, this does not look like just kickboxing, right? So, oh, I love it. This is the only one I could find. I don't know if they incorporated other styles into this or this was just Taekwondo. But this is the type of competition that we don't really associate with Taekwondoings, right? Ooh, nice. Ooh, he countered with a lot of punches. Blue felt those. So, now here's the question. Can they kick the legs? Oh, knockdown. Ooh. Wow. Okay. He doesn't look okay. Yeah, call it off. Good, good call. Good call. Yeah, he does not look okay. Look at that. So right here. Let's see how this exchange went. So, okay. It was... You kind of saw already that... Red was looking to counter with punches, right? So, let's see. Oh, man. Yeah. Jeez. Blue has been eating a lot of punches when you slow it down like this. Yeah, that makes sense. I think Red saw Blue's weakness, and he just went for it. I think Blue led with a kick. Blue has that kind of bladed stance. Spin kick, that was great. His hands were not near his face. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Taekwondo guy with the white pants and Muay Thai guy with the black pants. And, guys, this was probably... I can't see in the background. It's either 2005 or 2008. Whoa! Okay. It ended before it even got started. Taekwondo person with a tornado kick knockout. That's crazy. Wow. It might have not been a tornado kick. Okay? Oh, whatever kind of spin kick it was. It was pretty epic. So, okay, there we go. They're going to replay it. Here we go. Look at that. Oh, yeah, I'll just call it tornado. There's probably another word for it, but I'll just call it tornado kick. So let's give another shout out to SFX Championships. Now, the redhead girl with the red on her little gi pants, that's the Taekwondo girl. So the karateka, the karate girl, you see is the one blitzing in linearly. So this is a karate versus taekwondo fight. Now, the redhead girl, the one with her hair up kind of in a bun, her, she's also competed in karate competitions as a taekwondo person. So she's familiar with the karate fight style, right? That's why she's not phased. And in fact, she's punching back. Now... Ooh, nice angles by the Taekwondo girl. Again, Taekwondo girl, the redhead. Uh, for those of you who don't know what redheads are, they just, um, their hair's a little, I don't know why I'm trying to explain what a redhead is. Anyways, um, back to the action. Wow, I, I just try to explain to you guys what a redhead is. Um, anyways, uh, um, that's funny that the redhead was is in the red corner, though. Hey, I, hey, I found a way to make it not dumb commentary. <laughs> guys, I'm still a little under the weather, guys. <laughs> um, so, um, redhead's name is Taylor. I love the name Taylor. Oh, great combo that started with an entry that was, that's so cool. I, you know, I always say that people with kind of more of a bladed stance, it's hard to find combos, but man, Taekwondo and karate people make it work. They enter from the side, but they're able to shift with their punches. Wow, I got to study this in slower motion in the future. But red corner, Taylor, redhead, right? Taekwondo girl. Girl with the ponytail, Karateka. Ooh, she ducked her entire body really low, avoided that sidekick. So, oh, Taekwondoing is winning this. Oh, she got to be careful. This is the issue when you're brawling with your hands kind of more down, right? You're both just going to receive a kick. Look at that. Um, the ponytail, she got to brush the ponytail back. Right? That's why she put it in a bun too, man. Oh, nice. Taekwondo person taking the lead. Look at that. I love it. Wow. So that was the end of the first round. The redhead Taylor 
Taekwondo person versus Lauren. Blue corner, the Karateka. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Um, I don't know. Why is, why is the Karateka getting her game plan so far negated? What is going on? Oh, she's caught the leg, though. But look at that. <laughs> yeah, that ref should have done more there. Um, yeah, she's, she's scared, man. I guess the the more linear thing you associate with karate, right? Um, it's just, it's not working for her in this. Uh, I, I, again, there's lots of karate. Karate's not just linear. I just want to make that clear. I don't want people thinking I'm saying karate's only linear. Depends on the style, depends on the fighter, et cetera, et cetera. So, Taylor does seem to have a slight nosebleed right here. Um... Look at this, this little oval format, right? It's a little bit of an elevated type of setting. So, man, maybe you should give Lauren the Karate Girl a little bit of a standing count. She's not defending really intelligently anymore, see? It could just be she's gassed, but yeah, it's like Taekwondo person's taking this, man. Nice punch to the face. So, guys, this first competition from SFX didn't allow leg kicks, just to make it clear, guys. So that's why they're not kicking each other to the legs, right? Um, and there are also no elbows. But the the most sort of similar to a regular Taekwondo or karate competition is that they didn't really have leg kicks allowed. Man, they're scrapping, and the karate person is coming out on bottom. This is definitely going to go to the third round. So. Oh, sorry. I thought that was the end of the round. I guess not. Hey, ref, maybe tell them to do something. Okay, yeah. They were just stalling until the end of the round. Okay. Last two-minute round. Round three. Karatika needs to counter-strike, man. I think that's where... Let's see if we... Let's see if she can counter-strike. Let's see. Come on. That's the issue, right? I, I get why. I get why Kratika is struggling. Um, the Taekwondo is a counter striker. So, ooh, man. So, I think, yeah, this is interesting. I think they both are counter strikers, but Kratika keeps getting baited into playing Taekwondo person's game. You see that? This is what's going on. So... That being said, though, if you listen to original commentary, oh, that was a beautiful, wow. Oh, she threw an elbow. Ah, she threw an elbow. Hey, ref, why didn't you say something? She threw an elbow. Little straight to the body or reverse punch, I guess you would call it in, in karate, and she gets punched in the face. Man. So, anyways, um, before that amazing kick, uh, what I was trying to say was the Another one! Wow! The announcer was saying that Lauren, a.k.a. the Karate Girl, is very good at attacking. So, But we're definitely seeing that she has certain Counter-Striker qualities. And she's also fighting a Counter-Striker. So again, I don't know what's going on. Maybe the maybe just her game plan's wrong in this fight, right? Um, the announcer's also revealed... Oh, that was a hook right to the face. That um, Taylor, the Taekwondo girl, definitely prepared much more for this competition. So that could also be why. So, But I will say, accuracy-wise, the Taekwondo girl definitely has it, right? And, look okay, at she's not even bouncing as much anymore. There you go. Oh, a little bit of a head clash right there, but she got knocked down a little bit. Wow, the Taekwondo girl is completely dominating. Is that the end of the round? Yeah, there's that around. Yeah. Yeah, she won it. Okay.